guys, I'm so glad to have you in the studio. Yeah, I'm glad to be here, Bill. How are you, man? Fine. How are you this we morning? We get to see, uh, you know, we talked to you on the phone and all. Yes. And uh, and you brought with you... Yeah, are you okay with that? Yes, I just double checking. <laughs> Did you get everything all underway? Yeah, and tell us who you brought with you here today. Uh, I've got with me uh, Peugeot Monier, who's a um, uh, fairly well-known porn actress. Yeah. And uh, she's uh, come to Utica for the first time. Yes, that's, uh, Persia, that's got to be a big thrill. Oh, I'm just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Look at her face. Wow. The thrill town. Can you lock that door? All the houses look haunted. Yeah, they <laughs> look a little haunted. There's so many cemeteries here. Yeah. Well, a lot of people die here. Yeah, that's where everybody goes <laughs> to die. Again. Usually the visitors. Uh, I don't know. They just never <laughs> seem to leave. I don't, uh, I don't know. And then, uh, so you've had a chance to deal with Steve the Virgin. Now, this whole thing was set up where you were going to come in, and MTI, as you set this up. Yes. Uh, Steve the Virgin, uh, you heard him on a radio show, another radio show. It was an Internet radio show, right? No, no, no. I never no. had Steve the Virgin on the radio oh, show. Oh, okay. Uh, Steve the Virgin was uh, a pest on a Dr. Susan Block's ah, blog. Okay. Ah, okay. And he uh, found me there because I was a friend of his. And Dr. Susan, she would be a sex, uh, sex Thera- doctor? Sex therapist. She's a sex therapist in Los Angeles, California. Oh, okay. Uh, and a good friend of mine. Yeah. And then Steve the Virgin approached me on, the, on, a, on, on a Facebook site. And, you know, I didn't know who he was. And he befriended a good friend of mine. Yeah. And that's how he met me. And then it just so happened that, uh, you know, he's... He's a very persistent fellow, you know. He doesn't you really? think. You think? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't leave you alone. He Not at all. Wow. Yeah. So he uh, kept t- telling me that you know he's this uh, thirty-eight year old. Well, he wasn't thirty-eight year old at the time. Right. He was a thirty-seven year old virgin, and that he was going to be. He knew you apparently for many years. And well, he, let's uh, not go that far. No, no, <laughs> right. that's the story. No, no, yeah. he knew, and yeah. that, and that he. Um, he had he had tried to go on the Howard Stern show, mm-hmm. and he had had some you know issues there with somebody, uh, the cops or whatever. I don't know yeah. exactly well, what happened. They they didn't want him on the show, and uh, he wouldn't listen. Does that sound? Uh, yeah, that's about you yeah. know pretty accurate. <laughs> so uh, what happened was that uh, I called Susan Block, and I said to her that look, this guy is a you know he's, he's crazy enough to be interesting. Yeah. So um, why don't you have him come on your show? And meet one of your, you know, one of your guests, you know. Yeah, yeah. And she uh, said, no, not him. Yeah. <laughs> she already knew the deal. She, you know, yeah. She said, no, she said that I have had enough exposure that I'd rather pass. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he then asked me to talk to call you in about a month and a half ago. Yeah. And that's how all this thing... Uh, and it all started for that. Precisely. And then, uh, and then uh, Persia, you were going to come in and you were going to end the virginity. Yeah, but I think, you know, what's Stephen going to talk about once he loses it? That's a good point. Exactly. Yeah. That's, That's what we're hoping. But then he's just Steve. Then we yeah. won't have to deal with him anymore. Steve is no the, longer a virgin. By the time he's 40, I'll get it, and I'll turn him into a porn so, star. So, <laughs> so nothing happened last night? He did not uh, hook up with you or anything like that? Uh, no, we went. he went on his first date, and oh. that was with me. Okay. And he took me to Delmonico's, uh-huh. and we got to know each other. He used his parents' okay. credit card? Uh, <laughs> no, actually, he had deep pockets. He had a little cash in his pocket. That was stuff he stole minute. from his parents' cookie jar. <laughs> sure. And, MTS, did you go on this uh, this dinner, or you let no, them go? No, I let them go, because, you know, I was very tired. Yeah. It, it was a very demanding drive from Philadelphia to yeah. Utica. You know? Yeah. And you flew into Philly? Yes. Yeah. And where are you guys all from? Where are you, where are you guys from? I, I'm in, from Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. And I'm from Boynton Beach, Florida. Okay. Nice. And now you have a home, though, a vacation home. I'm just leaving after I get done today. I'm going to go to a place called Cape Vincent. Okay. That's where I have a place. Oh, that's home. nice. And that's upstate, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, um, now, can I ask, are the two of you uh, romantically? Uh, no. No. So you're just being a, a friend here. Yes. Yeah. yeah he's, Never? he's much more conservative than, yeah. I, than I am. Yeah. <laughs> You are a little bit. I mean, you're dressed in a nice shirt and tie, and uh, and I'm, nice an, I'm an educated man, you know. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's got a, a ring on. Are you a married man? No, no, I'm not a married man. Um, but it looks good. But you, <laughs> but you made all of this happen. So, MTS, I'm really glad to meet you because I, uh, I, I think we'll, uh, we really like you. We, we like you, you. Air and uh, and and we like you. So, well, thank you. And the feeling is very mutual. As a matter of fact, when I first spoke to you the first time. 
I think it was about maybe a month and a half ago. Yeah. Um, you know, I felt that you were a, um, what I would call a good interviewer. You, you know, another, you know, a, a radio personality is not just someone who just speaks. Right. It's someone who is able to elucidate from the other party, you know, uh, what to be able to say. Everybody can't do that. Yeah. And uh, I felt that, you know, you were good, not only good, you were um, um, willing to listen, willing to uh, also let the other person speak, you know. Uh, well, you have to, because otherwise you're, uh, it's all, you know. Uh, you know, and that's a that's a big thing in radio. I think my wife's been bitching me, at me about this because I, I I would never let anybody talk, and you got to listen. If you don't listen, you don't know what the person. Well, I know, about, but the but, you know? but the problem I've observed. In, I mean, I'm not a radio I'm not yeah. a radio personality, but I've been on radio occasionally with uh, Doctor Block and and others. Yeah. And the problem I've often observed is the person who is the uh, radio personality, if they have a huge ego, then they don't let the other person be able to uh, you know express themselves. And then it becomes a boring, you know, event. Yes. Whereas I felt uh, on the first time you ever spoke that you were quite the contrary, and that makes it a lot easier to be able to express yourself. Better write that down yeah. somewhere, because yeah. <laughs> people will be contradicting that. Yeah. But, but at That's least you true. have it from somebody who doesn't live that there very on true. record. I, and I, I have to tell you, the, only reason, that on the, the only reason I was pausing is because I'm usually going back to the microwave back there and getting my eggs. So <laughs> I'm on this diet. I have to have these powdered eggs. They're very good. I like them a lot. So, and then you hooked us up with Persia, and yes. you literally brought her here. Yes. Uh, our take, our our uh, responsibility here was coming up with a hotel room, which Sorry. got screwed up, but it's all <laughs> it's all corrected now, and and you're good to go. And the uh, the place that you stayed at, you're leaving after the show. Yeah, in about a few hours. You know, about okay. noon this afternoon. So the place that you stayed at is a very nice hotel, yes. and yes. Uh, and all that. Very and Persia. Historic. So I'm going to take a break, and we're going to come back with you in a, in a second here. You're very beautiful. Thank you. And you are legendary in the porn world. Well, am I legendary? I, I believe mean. you are. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing this for how long? Only three years. Really? Yeah. Wow, you've done really well. But I've, I've, been, in, I've been published since 1999, and I had a website when the Internet wasn't so active. Right, right. What was the website? Oh, well, it's persiaspalace.com. Mm, okay, and, and that was all uh, porn, uh, that sort of well, thing. Well, it was soft, and, yeah. and now it became very hard. Nice. <laughs> yes. That's what usually happens. It starts soft, Yeah. It gets really, how really long hard. Have, uh, how, long yeah. Have, how long have you known her, MTS? Uh, how long have, uh, have, have you known uh, Persia? About four months. Okay. It's a Facebook thing, you know. The Internet's a miracle. It and, is. And uh, this Steve the Virgin and MTS, and we all... Connected on Facebook. Yeah. And where are you from originally? You have the Southern South. Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, where I grew okay. Up. Uh -huh. Nice. She's uh, had quite the interesting life. We'll have to divulge into some of that. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> all right. We'll get into all of those things coming up. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do. At some point, we will bring in. Uh, so our audience is very vocal and very opinionated, and we give them the opportunity, like nobody else does, to uh, to. They're they're mean. They can be very mean. Our audience. I've got thick skin. Well, I bring them out. No, not to you. <laughs> they're not going to be mean no. to you. Oh, you mean no. Steve versus Steve. Yeah, they're definitely going to be mean to Steve. Well, and, I've got to protect them a little bit. I think no. the key to what we do is we allow them to uh, to say whatever is on their mind. And uh, sometimes it's even bad about us. And But that's okay because this is what this whole thing is all about. When Steve sits down, they don't want him on the radio. Um, and I, I when, the other day when, when he told us he wasn't going to follow through on this, it pissed me off. You were on the line when... when uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. So um, I said, you know, and then when we came in here today, what was he doing? Well, he, he, he's bringing the camera out. And, and I told him secretly, I said, yeah. you know, this is the thing that bothers me. If there's one thing, if somebody's got a camera, I can say, and they're holding it up, and they're, but he's secretly under his... What does he think? I'm stupid? <laughs> I haven't done this crap before? Stealth I'm, camera I'm watching on. him tape us, uh, tape the conversation, so he can put it up on the web all over the place. Yeah. It'll be a, a, there's already if you Google my name all of Steve the Virgin's videos come up. Uh, it's terrible. So anyway, um, has he seen has Stephen the Virgin seen you naked yet? No, he hasn't. Uh, do you think he should? On a box cover. Yeah, on a box cover. Yeah. Do you think you will allow him to see you naked? Because that possibly change his mind. Sure, why not? All right. So maybe we'll get down that road a little bit. Get down that road. MTIs, this is my job. This is what I have to do. <laughs> why I'm here. So uh, we'll bring in, uh, and he's got his own T-shirt printed up. Uh, yeah. I am a virgin. I love that, that T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, but I would tell you, I mean, you've, you've met him and really met him for only the last uh, 
12 hours, right? Or whatever. Yeah, and he's, you know, I'm a um, registered nurse, too. And oh, okay. He's manic depressive. Yeah. And he's very manic. He's and, clinical. Yeah, and he yeah. doesn't want to take medication. Mm-hmm. 